Hi. I would like to talk to you about something that's on my mind. Just thinking about, um, think, thinking about the, um, Lord of the Rings, um, how, how, the story, how the story ends. I mean, I, I've only, like, seen the peek at the, at, at the book's, um, conclusion of how, 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 well, not, not the total con conclusion, but the, um, uh, how, how the ring gets destroyed, and, um, I also know from the movies how, how the ring gets destroyed, I mean, and the whole, the whole thing comes down to the point that, um, the ring was destroyed by accident. <laughs> I mean, I mean, Frodo go gets all the way to the um, to the cracks of doom and inside inside the fiery mountain, and um, he get he gets tempted by by the ring one last time, and he uh, ends up succumbing to the um, temptation, and he. Uh, Ends up, ends up slipping the ring on, and he's like, it's like the ring is mine. <laughs> it's, it's sort of like, um, sort of like what what if Jesus um ended up succumbing to the temptation um before, before he um died on the cross. I mean. I mean, cause, I mean, cause the whole, I mean, the whole thing is like, like, um, like symbolism for, um, mm -hmm. like symbolism for Jesus's pilgrimage to Jerusalem to uh, die for the sins of the world. But here, here we don't necessarily have a perfect um, representation of, of that in. In the Lord of the Rings, we just we just get Fro Frodo going going all the way to um, all the way to Mount Doom, and 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 then he fails, and um, and what what happens after that? Um, Go Gollum, who who was spared by um, Fro Frodo, or earlier on and um was shown pity um bites the ring off of um, Frodo's finger and uh and he goes, My precious, my precious, my precious oh. <laughs> And um and in the book, he happy dances his way to his doom, <laughs> and uh, and he takes the ring with it. <laughs> so the ring gets destroyed by accident. I mean, I mean, <laughs> of course, in the um, in the movies. Um, um, Golem gets the ring back back from from Frodo and Fro Frodo and um, Golem struggle with each other and um, they both fall over and Golem falls to his fall, falls to his doom and takes ta ends up taking the ring with him and it and it gets destroyed that way. I mean, I mean. <laughs> The whole the whole thing is um, they basically um, that 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 um, when the hero when the hero fails it I mean the the guiding hand of um, providence um, be, becomes the deciding factor of um, of of whether the ring gets destroyed in it. And, 
and uh, that's pretty much what what happens. I mean. I mean the whole the whole the whole thing is an act of God, or the God of um, Middle Earth. I mean, who, the um, the guiding hand throughout the um, entire entire quest um, to bring the um, the One Ring into um, to Mount Doom to be to be destroyed in the fires and. And with that one one ring destroyed, um, Sauron is also um, destroyed as well, and and um, and the powers of evil are are also destroyed. I mean, sort of like. Um, Sort of like in the Book of Revelation, where the rider of the white horse com comes down from heaven and uh, defeats the um, beast and the false prophet, and sends sends them to the uh, lake of fire and brimstone, and and then, and then a great um, an angel with a great chain in his hand. Go, goes and um, cast the devil into the um, bottomless pit to be, be be sealed there for uh, a thousand years until um, until the thousand years are over and then and then he'll be released for one one last insurrection. I've yet to go go through the entire um, books book series to um, to get get to the um, real ending. Just like like there's a, so a lot so much that happens um, after the um, ring ring gets destroyed. Um, like. Uh, I find I find the um I, f I find the bo books to be interesting. I mean, cer certainly a lot a lot of um <laughs> cer cer certainly a lot to um, imagine in my head. Think of all, all that go goes on in um, in Middle Earth, in the um, the the quest for, to destroy the um, One Ring, and um, I don't know. I'm surprised I didn't um, start start reading the um, Lord of the Rings until. Um, And and until um, this year, I mean, sort of like a part of my bucket list of things to do before before leaving Earth. <laughs> I mean, gotta make sure you re you read The Lord of the Rings. I mean, it's a it's a good book. <laughs> I mean, I. I would definitely recommend it over something like A Song of Ice and Fire. Uh, I'm not sure I'll even, I'll even read that. <laughs> anyway, that's pretty much all I have to say in this video. So, have a good day, and God bless you.